Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, in our last video, we created this little sort of full width post using the great new hero module and the new loop feature that Divi have just added. And we had a few questions on it, one of which was, how do I change the column structure? Say I want this and I want it to be three columns or two columns or however you wish. A few people were having a bit of a problem changing it. So we're going to change this today into this. It's really easy to do. The reason people are probably struggling with this is when I set this up, I wanted mine to be full width. What I did is I applied my loop to my actual hero module rather than the column. So if we want to change column structure, we just need to switch that around a bit. So let's get started. I'm going to go to the page. I've got it open with Divi right here. For anybody that followed this tutorial yesterday, when we initially went in, we went into the hero module, created it, and then turned looping on. So I'm going to go into this hero module right here, dark tab for the module. I'm actually going to turn loop off. So I'm going to go to hero content. You roll down. We don't have to change anything else on here, just where we're actually looping. We're going to change the loop from the module right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. We'll be left with an empty module. Now, if we go into the row and then into the column, this is really important. Go into the column itself over here on the right hand side. We're going to re loop it from the column itself rather than the module. Here's the loop. We'll turn it on. It does this, throws it all over the page and off the page to the right hand side, which won't work, but we can fix that very easily in a moment. We are doing post type. We want posts, but the category we were using before is supercars. And the number of posts I think was set to 10. I only actually have nine, so let's put that down to nine. Great, and obviously that doesn't look very good. So to fix that, all we need to do is go back one up here to the column, go back to the row or just click on the green tab. I'm gonna to go to design in the middle now, layout, and we'll tidy this up. All I'm gonna do is go down to where it says layout wrapping right here. I'm gonna wrap it. Boom. Now we've got exactly what we had originally, but instead of looping the actual module itself, we're looping the column that the modules are sitting in. It's still doing it exactly the same in. We're still, we're still pulling in all the content. No need to ch change any of the dynamic links or anything like that. Now here's a question. How do we change this into perhaps two or three columns? Well, it's pretty easy. Again, in the row, either click the green tab, we'll go up to row up here. Change column structure. I'm going to click on that. If you want three, click on the three here. Now, it's not going to look right straight away, but I'm sure you figured out what we've got to do. To design, and we've got to wrap it. Boom. Once we wrap it, we've got three here. Now, a little squashed up depending on what content you've got in there i'm not really pleased with the look of that but we actually applied a minimum height to our modules when we built them the other day so we really need to take that off if we want these all the same or at least change it to something that's going to work so if we go back into any one of these modules it really doesn't matter in the hero module go over to design down to sizing this is where we put in our minimum height the other day now, if you haven't done this, you don't need to change anything. If we delete it and see what happens, let's see. Really not made much of a difference. I'd like to force these because we've got slightly different amounts of text and things in these. I'd like to force them to be, well, let's try 80% of the viewable height, certainly on desktop. So I'm going to type in 80 VH, enter. Okay, that's made them all the right height there. But that still really doesn't look good to me. The buttons aren't looking good. Image is a little small over there. I mean, it's functional. So to fix that, let's go back into our little module here. And again, it doesn't matter which one you go in. I'm going to go to design again. Layout wise, I'm going to pop everything in the middle. That might help a little bit. That's a lot better. We've now got all of our little modules the same depth, which is fantastic. Now, I know there's going to be people there. It's going to drive them crazy that these things aren't all lined up. Well, we can write a little bit of code to fix that. Be nice to have a flex option, which would sort it all out. But another little thing I've got a problem with here, these buttons really aren't lining up well. They seem to line up fine left and also right. 
but in the middle, not so much. So let's firstly fix those buttons and line them up. Again, I'm gonna go into my hero and I think button two just needs to come left a little bit. So if we go into button two, I'm gonna help use custom styles to the button, button two spacing, margin left, margin not padding. I'm going to drag it down negative value. That should drag it over the left hand side a little bit. As you can see, it's moving across. The other thing you could do, of course, is give it a fixed width. Both of these are fixed width, but I still think you have to adjust them. There's probably a bit of float or something going on there with the CSS. That's great. And a little too much gap here for me. Should probably breaking those titles up there. Easy fix. Again, if we just go into the row, the green tab, we can take the gap away a little bit over in design layout. Here's the flex style. Here's a horizontal gap. Let's take that down to maybe they're using a percentage. Let's maybe take it down to 2%. That's better. Let's fix our titles. And of course you can change the minimum height of these for tablet or by just clicking on tablet. You probably want to make that pop into one of the hero sections. Probably want to make that sizing wise design sizing. I mean the height, well let's make it a hundred viewable height. That way they're all gonna be the same. You know they're gonna fit on the screen there. Still looks a bit strange to me. I might change that column structure to two just on tablet. And you know how to do that. Back into the row, change column structure. And we can probably take that height back down a little bit. And then let's have a look on mobile. Because obviously you want these to work on all devices, especially mobile phones. Yeah, that's going to be fine on mobile. Two calls on tablet. Like I said, let's pop in and take that height back down to 80 or whatever it was before for tablet. I don't think it needs to be 100. Design, sizing. Take that down. 80 again, back where it was. I think that's a little better. Okay, like I say, I know people are being driven crazy because this isn't lining up. And like I say, I like one little fix to do that. But there isn't one that I can think of at the moment. So I'm going to cheat and just use a bit of CSS code. And what I'm going to do is go to the content tab and just give it a fixed height. So it should push all the buttons there and where we want them. So again, if we go into a module right here, the hero module, advanced custom CSS. If we go to the module elements down here. We've got logo, title, body is what I want to use. Let's just give it a fixed height of say 150. Maybe need it up a little bit. So I'm just going to write height, two words, H-E-I-G-H-T, colon, 150, picked. Well, it's actually one word, one number. And as you can see, that's lined all those up there because the content is now fitting within those. It's pushed all the buttons down, which means all the images are lined up. Let's have a look down here. Yeah, yep, that's fine. So for those of you that are a bit OCD and do not like things that aren't exactly lined up, one little line of code, the word height, H-E-I-G-H-T, colon, and then whatever height you want, I've got it 150. You can check it on tablet and mobile. And again, you can have different amounts for both of those. That's fine. Good. Have a quick look on mobile. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. And like I say, if you want to, you can give the buttons a fixed width the same way by either going into each button under design and going into the button. I think we've got it open in button two here. You can adjust the size with a bit of padding there, or you can go to the advanced, do the same as we did here. Button one, if we give them both a width of, well, I think 150 will be plenty for that. Probably about a 125, but let's give it a width of 150. And again, if you want to do this, it's just one word, width, W-I-D-T-H, colon, and the amount you want. 150 may be a little bit too much. Look at the top button. That's what we're working on today. Yeah, a little too much, but that's all right. If we copy that into the second one, they'll both be exactly the same size. Control C to copy, button two right here, Control V to paste. That way they're exactly the same size. Just a little tip for, like I say, anybody that's a little OCD and lets have everything lined up perfectly, you may want to do that. So let's save our changes here. Save draft or publish if you're ready. 
Now let's preview this in a new tab. And here we are. We've got three nice little columns there. We've got pretty much everything lined up. It's looking good. So I hope that's answered that question and given you a few ideas of how to actually adjust your sites here. And here we have it. Three little columns. It's going to be two on tablet and one on mobile. They're all the same height. Everything's pretty much lined up as we want it. So don't forget, if you follow the tutorial the other day, it's fantastic. It'll work perfectly if you want those full screen posters that we had the other day. But if you want to split it up into different amount of columns, what we need to do, as you saw, is actually loop the column itself, not the module. And then you can adjust it however you want, as you've seen today. So I hope I've explained that well. I hope you've enjoyed it today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. DV5 is still in the alpha state, but we're getting closer and closer to a release. So I'll be making more and more videos about DV5. If there's something you're stuck with on DV4, let me know. I'll make a video for you happily about it. I'm still using Divi 4 for all of my clients and will be until at least probably version 1.1 of the final release. You can build new sites with this. It seems to work absolutely perfectly, but I'm not going to be migrating my existing sites over for a little while yet. But I am very excited about this. I think it's going to be absolutely wonderful. And I certainly am enjoying building with Divi 5. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.